This little beauty is a Formula 3 car. Both Lewis Hamilton and Michael Schumacher raced in one of these en route to the glitz and glamour of Formula 1. So the competition in Formula 3 is really fierce. Back in 2006, testosterone was racing almost as fast as the cars when James Winslow saw his rival quite literally fly past him. The Asian Formula 3 Championship in 2006 in Indonesia. The firm favourite to win this race was Brit James Winslow, who was on fine form, having won the last four races. It was a five-race weekend um, in Jakarta, and I would managed to qualify on pole position. The car's capable of winning every race, it's just whether I make a mistake or not, so just got to not make any mistakes, minimise all mistakes and maximise what the car can do. But all eyes were on the local boy, Marino Soprapto, who grew up just metres from this very racetrack. Uh, we said we fixed the car, and there's a little bit uh, damage in, in my car, but try to get in, get in faster, faster. James was in the running for the Formula 3 title, so he was hyped for the race. Um, I didn't make a particularly good start, so I went from first down to second before the first corner. I've got Moreno Soprato very close behind me in my slipstream. The sort of speeds we hit there would probably be 165 miles an hour. And then the breaking point is just after you reach top speed. Still on the first lap, the drivers power down the straight, jostling for position. But then disaster strikes. And the moment I touch the brakes, I can feel that slight dink in the rear of my car. When he's actually hit the rear of my car and the front of the wing has gone up, it's acted more like a plane, so he's actually, like, taken off. The next thing I know, I look up in the air and I can see Moreno is actually up, upside down and overtaking me over the top of my head. Upside down. It's ripped off the rear wing off of my car as well, so my car's spun out of control as well and ended up in the gravel quite near where he's come, come to rest. James realised his friend was in trouble. Marino's car had smashed into the barrier, trapping him inside. He runs to help his friend. I could tell this was a huge accident. Um, so the first thing that was in my mind was that Moreno was OK. The car had somersaulted, rolled over, and he could have broken a leg. He could have been unconscious. I just wanted to get in there and do anything I could. I could see that Moreno wasn't actually going to be able to get out of the car on his own. Um, I jumped up onto the tyre barrier and tried to lever myself with my legs up on the on the barrier and tried to push the car over onto its wheels. And whilst doing that, I managed to push the car like a few inches away from the barrier, which was just enough room for me to slot myself down between the car and the barrier, which gave me then access to Moreno, so I could kind of help him with his seat belts. There was enough room to get my crash helmet below the car and the barrier, so I was kind of just feeling around in the car and doing whatever I could, really. With no thought for his own safety, James struggles to help his friend and rival Marino escape. At this point, there was fuel pumping all over, like a absolute worst case scenario, fuel pumping all over a boiling hot engine. And I knew it was going to burst into flames at any moment. I managed to turn the fuel pump off. I thought it would buy some more time. But the vapor had ignited then, and then we were actually on fire. It's now like a mad rush to get out as quick as we can. I've hopped out the top and he's crawled underneath the car. I'm not even sure how we, you know, how we managed to get him through that hole. It was very small, but he got out. From the moment we actually ran away from the car, the seat was all, all, already on fire. I think Reno just had some light burns around his neck, but the moment we were out, it was on fire at, at that moment. It was, that, it was as close as you could get. One more second, you'd have had more burns. <laughs> Ten more seconds, it would have been... Pretty horrific, yeah. The whole four form one of three car just burnt to nothing. Within, I think, 20 minutes, you couldn't even see any anything from the wheels to the tires to the carbon fiber cockpit. Everything had completely gone. It was it was amazing. I think when he shout, make me like uh, wake up, like uh, make me wake, and then he said, "You have to go get out from the car." And then he tried to pull me out, but I'm stuck. Moreno needed to get out of that car as quickly as he could. And, how could anyone stand around and watch a friend burn alive? I don't know. I would have done anything I could to, to have got him out of that car. I have a really big thanks, thanks for him. But that wasn't the end of the drama for James that day. Normally what happens in racing is that um, you then restart the race. I kind of gave myself like 20, 30 minutes to 
have some emotion and get over everything and then switch it all off and get back on with your job, which is you know, to jump back in the car and win the race. I managed to take back my pole position. Managed to make a good start, got away in the lead, pulled away and managed to win the race, which was pretty good.